guys first of all good evening honey merry christmas how are you guys doing hope you guys are doing amazing today is very special um i normally don't do this on my channel traditionally but as you guys may know if you are um if you keep up with my posts on instagram i am a huge fan of makeup i do makeup all the time sometimes for fun sometimes for events Today was for an event for Christmas Day because I wanted to go out with my boyfriend. We had some coffee at Starbucks and then we went to um, the theater to see Cats. If you haven't seen that movie, by the way, please do yourself a favor, watch it. It just came out. It's so good. Um, it looks weird, okay? Don't get me wrong. It's weird, but it is so good. Um, so, guys, this look is amazing. It's a frostbite glam look. Um, using a very special palette you will find out later, but it is gorgeous You can see that there's a really nice red and white luminous shadow formula on my lids and a very beautiful yellow matte look on the bottom for a kind of like a snowman type of thing Looks really nice kind of a candy cane slash snowman type of theme And um, there's a lot of nice um, blush and highlighter on my nose as well to have a more luminous frostbite look as I like to call it um, so you can see very luminous very shiny very dramatic look today so guys I hope you guys really enjoy it enough of me and more for you guys I hope you guys enjoy this glam tutorial you can follow it as much as you like um, and if not then just sit back and watch guys if you want to know how to do this glam look then keep watching see you guys over there in three two one Hey guys, good morning. How are you guys doing? I am so excited. Merry Christmas. Hope you guys are having a great Christmas day. My look that I did yesterday was stunning, but that is on Instagram. So to see that, you'll have to go over to my Instagram to see it, but you will see it. It will be there, so just check it out. But today we're doing a look for Christmas day. So the really fun thing about this, guys, is that I have another perspective to record on. So this is actually really nice because you get the raw looks of my face. Um, the way my face looks right now, that is not an airbrush texture, that is my natural skin, that is my pores. That is how bad my face looks. And I'm gonna make it look so much better with, um, the makeup I'm about to do. I'm wearing latex gloves because I'm gonna apply my foundation with that because my foundation brushes and sponges are, um, drying right now. I just washed them, so, um, I don't want to use them yet because I just cleaned them. I just did a clean day like two days ago with all my brushes and stuff, so... We're not going in clean. Some of these brushes still have some product on them because I used them yesterday for my look. So ignore that. You don't want to do that. That's not safe. Don't ruin your skin doing that. Please wash your fucking brushes every time. But I'm doing this because I am going out to a date with my boyfriend again. We're going to go out for some coffee at Starbucks for Christmas Day. And since I don't have anything to do for Christmas, this is going to be what I do for Christmas. So this is going to be really fun, guys. I think we're ready to start applying some foundation. The foundation I'll be using is the... Covergirl Girl plus Ole is a collaboration. The Advanced Radiance. Um, broad Spectrum Age Defying Makeups Plus Sunscreen Foundation. So this foundation is allegedly age defying. Um, and they, they're 100% right. Very right about that. So there's some of the product. Okay. Going over to this mirror. guys that is my foundation so what we have to do next is contouring so um i don't like to go heavy on the foundation because this is like really like this shit kicks off your face so um i'm just gonna go in actually you know what no i'm not gonna go in with my contour i'm gonna go in with something even more special this is something um very special that i got for christmas and guys it is none other than the conspiracy palette yes I love it. I got it in the mail. My uncle got his hands on it before it sold out, and um, for reasons, um, he wasn't able to send it right away, but I got it this week, and I'm so excited. Um, the payoff is fantastic. I love the pigmentation. But guys, off to this camera once again. Um, I'm going to go in. So to contour, I always like to contour with the shade Diet Root Beer, and then I like to blush with pigment. So that's what I'm gonna do. So we're 
just going to go in with my pan brush. I would just use my sculpted contour, but I really like using this one because I can get much more precise contour looks and more even looks, and it's just a lot easier. And don't forget, dust it off. And my face is not defined. Now, you guys are probably asking, when is he going to do his forehead? I don't, I personally don't like putting contour on my forehead because every time I do it, I either overdo it or I underdo it. And um, I just, I personally do not like contouring my forehead. So, oh, okay, so going in with the same brush. I like to use the same brush for contouring and blushing because that way it um, makes it easier to blend. Now we're going to go in with the, we're going to go in with pigment now. So I'm just going to go in with that. So I'm dipping right into it. Again, I know you can't see that on camera, but it's pretty intense. gorgeous and glamorous. So the next thing I want to do is I am going with pigment again and just kind of put it over the nose a little bit to blushing up the nose. This gives you a more wintry look and it just looks cute. It's pretty and you just get this really nice like a frostbite look and it's really cute and um, I love looking like this when I go out for like coffee or like a special event or something because it just looks really cute and I love it a lot. Okay, so now you can see that it's already looking really good, but I still have lots of blending to do, so we're just gonna go in again with our angle. So now what we need to do is I'm gonna set that beautiful conspiracy palette aside for some time, and we're gonna go in with my favorite highlighting palette. This is the XOXO highlighter palette um it's not super luminous but if you kind of wet the brush just a little bit and then dip in oh my god it's like you want to like have an orgasm over it it's just so pretty when you do it so i'm i just dipped a little bit into the water not too much and i'm gonna go in with this wider shade here i know it's hard to see but i'm gonna go in with this white shade right here to get this to get a really nice luminous and frosty look um hopefully soon i'll be able to get my hands on more jeffree star products but for now we're just going to use some of the cheap ones because these guys are also gorgeous See, we already have a beautiful look. <laughs> so, as gorgeous this looks, we still have blended. So, we're just gonna go in with this again and just kind of blend out the highlight. So, I'm going to be using the Pro Fusion eyeshadow primer. Um, this actually works really well. My shadow sticks on for a very long time. You can't get this separate. You can't get it on its own, but you can get it with the uh, Profusion Ice set with the little blue one. Um, it always comes with a little, like, little, little primer thing, and it always has a really nice little liquid lip applicator. It's amazing, and it works beautifully. So you just kind of slide it across your eye a little bit, and then once you have it on, you want to quickly just kind of blend it. Because if you don't, you're going to have a lot of difficulties with uh, your shadow. I made that mistake yesterday, and I know you, can, you weren't able to see it in the post on the pictures because I made it that way on purpose. But there was a part that like was way lighter than everything else because I didn't blend it right, apparently for some reason. So it came out really funky. 
I had to live with it because I couldn't get it off. It was really stubborn. Because, you know, with Jeffrey's makeup and his product line, his makeup is very stubborn and it's very difficult to get off. Um, at least for my skin, because I have very oily skin. So whenever I put these products on, they stick a little too well and are an absolute bitch to get off. So, just gotta blend, 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 blend. So it will look tacky at first, but the more that you just blend it out, the better it looks. And it, you can see that it's, it's a transparent, the formula I use is the transparent formula, so it's not as um, intense, but it does cake onto your eyes, and that is exactly what you want in makeup it will blend better and you will you actually using primer um you will get a lot more payoff on your look than you would not using primer on your eyelids so we're gonna go in with the conspiracy palette again yes super excited i'm gonna go in with my um i'm gonna go in with my crease brush i know it's not intended for doing stuff like this but i'm gonna do kind of a candy cane pattern so I don't know, but my formula's mixed a little bit. It's not good. Alright, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go into Diet Cola. I know it's hard to see because you're a little out of focus. Okay. But I'm just gonna kind of go in a little bit. Try to go as much as I can. Dust that off. I don't know if you saw that on camera, but that was a lot. Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open No, 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 honey. Alright, so I flopped really hard. We're gonna have to try this again. We are now back to the to where we left off. I am terribly sorry about how that turned out. That was atrocious. I'm just gonna kind of dry fly on the lid now. guys this is really pretty um now i was gonna do a candy cane type of pattern but then i realized that would take too much time and i knew i would flop it again if i flopped it the first time so now it's kind of hard to see but we kind of have this really nice pattern here and it looks nice and i'm just kind of blending right now Look at that, that looks really nice. There's a lot of really great payoff. And now I'm gonna go in with my angled liner brush and I'm gonna go down under the eye, dipping into food videos. Very nice yellow shade. Dust that off. I'm just gonna go under the eye. see guys we have this really pretty look um it looks a little wonky but it's nice it's really pretty it's cute and um i think it makes a great fashion statement now another thing i like to do is i like to brush my brows down But um, I'm gonna go in with another liner, well, angled liner, but this is a compact angled liner. And essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my rides here, which is like a very dark black shade that gives beautiful payoff, and just go into my brows. This kind of structures them a little bit, makes them darker, makes them more bold. And this is exactly what you want. And there, my eyebrows are. 
Now, I have huge eyebrows, so like, you know, they look a little funky, but like I said, it looks a lot better in real life than it does on camera. It's because of my camera settings. But now I'm just gonna go in with some beautiful mascara. You guys can do liner, it's optional, but I prefer not to. Super annoying when you do mascara. It's one of the most agitating part of it, parts of it. But now I'm gonna go in with this liquid lipstick. I don't even know what this is. There's no labeling on it um, when I got it. So, it's, but it's really pretty. It's very luminous, um, and it's it's actually pretty shiny. It's a it's a glossy liquid lip, so it's really pretty. I love using this shade, and it's also very, it matches my natural shade a lot. It's, like, really pretty. So, um, once your look is actually done, it looks really, really pretty. So, if I can find my Sony partner is. I use a lot of LA color stuff as well, just because it's really nice. But I'm going to get my big, 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 big powder brush. And I'm just going to go dipping right into this powder. Again, knocking off that. Oh, that you got on camera. But, just stroke it across the face. Don't worry. It won't dull on anything. Just sets everything in place. Don't forget your neck. And your ears. And there you guys have it. There is my... Christmas glam look. I hope I really hope you guys like this because it came out really good. It's really pretty. And um it is a little intense, don't get me wrong, but like it looks so pretty. Again, it looks really weird on camera. I don't know why. There's just a really weird like look to it, but it's really pretty, it looks really good, and I'm personally happy with the look. So um if you guys enjoyed this video, if it educated you in any way, let me know it down in the comments below. It came out honestly really pretty. The payoff is absolutely spectacular. It's stellar with this makeup. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you all have a very good Merry Christmas. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'll be doing another glam look tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good Christmas, guys. Bye.